I'm Gary with Gary's Modern Marketplace here to taste a couple Chardonnays with the team. Uh, what's going on is, as maybe you know or don't know, Rombauer Chardonnay, which is one of my favorite Chardonnays, uh, is coming into a period of time where it's very highly allocated. We're having trouble getting all we need. Um, and that's purely agricultural. It, oh, 2010, 2011, we're very short vintages. So we decided, let's get, to, and they're all excited, you can see this. We decided, let's get together, let's taste a bunch of Chardonnays that we think uh, could give us an opportunity. So when you come in looking for Rombauer, we don't have it to sell you, we have something else we could talk about. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna all taste Rombauer so we, we have it fresh in our mind, and then we're gonna spend the next couple hours tasting through all these wines and deciding which of the few that we think are the best. So that's what we're gonna do, and let's go to it. And just so you guys know what we're doing, it's we had 108 to sample um, about 1009s, 10, 10, 10s. We're doing 108 first, and then we're going to do the 09s, do the 10s, and then within each group, we're going to try to taste them in a order of where they come from. It's not quite as butter oak here. Right, yeah. but, but I think it's acceptable, and I think people would like it. I mean, I thought it was actually pretty good. I liked it. I'm not sure it's, a, you know, it's, it's not necessarily rum bar, but it was solid, especially for an 08. I thought it would be a little tired. That's not bad. Which one was that? Morgan. Yeah, that's not bad. It's, it's got a little more acidity than rum bar and, and not as much. I'm calling it coconut for lack of that. Yeah, yeah, no, I like um, But it's still got a little tropical, maybe, maybe even a little banana. That kind of like, yeah. tropical. And then we'll have to analyze pricing and you know, see where the pricing all lies. So the great news is once we cull it down, we have to retaste the uh, finalists six times. Great news, we're coming back for, with uh, another Artessa, although Artessa made the cut. So I'm going to say we really liked these Chardonnays. So is that where we are? So these are the three that we think. Okay, well, we are exhausted. This is, am I right? This was grueling. So just to summarize, uh, we tasted the Rombauer. We tasted every one of these Chardonnays. We culled it down to about 10, 12 uh, Chardonnays. We tasted the Rombauer again. We tasted the Chardonnays that we liked again. And we really liked this group of Chardonnays. There were some really, we thought, solid Chardonnays that we would, could support and like. None of them gave us what we think you were looking for in Rombauer. The three that seem to jump out in different degrees, we really like the Morgan. It's from Santa Lucia Highlands. We thought it was very solid, very good Chardonnay and close. And then Sequoia Grove, it's from Canaros and the Artessa were both really solid that we think that with confidence that if you like Rombauer are worth tasting. So all three of these, if you like Rombauer, you should give them a go um, until we get some more Rombauer for yourself. Having said that, um, I'm Gary. This is the beat up Chardonnay tasting team saying come give it a try. Cheers.